They met in high school, but it wasn't until college that Jake and Kelly Francis fell in love. It just instantly turned from friendship to a relationship. Their relationship, six months young, was dealt a big scare. Jake was diagnosed with testicular cancer. He did amazing. Uh, one round of chemo and... Um, kicked its butt. With Jake beating cancer, they got married in 2007. Then, two years later, came a big victory. And when you reach five years of not having cancer, you're considered cured. So August of 2009, we were so celebratory that you've made it through the five years. We never have to worry about this again. But an unthinkable blow, another cancer diagnosis for Jake. And this time, treatment wouldn't help. They were told that he didn't have much time left. Still, the couple so badly wanted to be a family. So Kelly got pregnant and found out she was having twins, a boy and a girl. Was so overwhelmed and blessed, of course, and feeling so grateful that I had two children um, that I got to be the mommy to, but I was scared because I knew someday I'd be raising them on my own. And then came another devastating diagnosis, this one for their unborn child. 17 weeks into her pregnancy, they learned their little girl, Avery, had a fatal condition and likely wouldn't live long past birth. But we did have 63 minutes with her, and I will forever treasure that amount of time. But while grieving the loss of their daughter, they rejoiced in the life of their son, Evan. With Jake's cancer progressing, last month he was given six months to live. I just look at my son and his amazing smile. I'm sorry. And everything's okay because it, no matter what, I'm always going to have a piece of Jake with me because I have his child. And I know that Jake feels the same way, that even though he's not going to be on this earth anymore, a piece of him always will be and always will be with me. Kelly, a physical therapist, now stays at home to help her husband, who is no longer able to work as a nurse. The couple's friend, Mackenzie Pepper, is now calling upon the community to help them out. A husband and wife who she says have done so much for so many. Their hearts are just so genuinely good and caring and loving, and um, they've been a huge inspiration to so many people. While reaching their dream of becoming a family, the physical separation isn't going to stop them from being whole. I feel like we were blessed with twins because Jake is too good of a father not to be one in heaven. And he gets Avery in heaven, and I get Evan here. And I know that's why she had what she had and why she isn't here. So we both get the opportunity to be the parents that we want to be.